How much loot do we get? Oh, okay. Look at there's like 20 mods on this. There's 20 mods in this rare. Holy shit! What the fuck? T1, that's a T1. English mods? No, 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 no. Okay. Heavy belt, heavy belt, heavy belt. No, heavy belt. Oh my god, heavy belt again. The point! The point! The point! The point! The point! It's the point! Holy shit! <laughs> I made 100 divines in one map using this strategy. We start with a map from T17s that have the modifier. Rare monsters in area are shape touched. And now we will look to try and find other modifiers to buff this up. So as you can see, we have rare monsters have two additional modifiers and rare monsters. Now those are just beneficial. They are better to be on top, but the main one is the shape attached. Now we are going to use this map in our atlas with a nemesis a scarab, which will give us two more modifiers. And then we'll add reliquary, reliquary, and most importantly, most importantly, Glittering. So what Glittering does is that if you run through the whole map, killing monsters non-stop, you will have 100 quantity and 200 rarity the entire time. Now, this is only possible because we have our Alice spec like this. I have Glitterium here for permanent, and as you can see here, we have a guarantee. We have Beyond for Beyond Rares, using these over here, and these over here for Beyond Chance, over here 100%. And the rest are just scarabs and map effectiveness to make our map even better. Because these modifiers will make these mods go to 3 modifiers, 60% more rares and so on. Now we do not use all flames because as far as I'm aware there are no good ones. And um, it's expensive you know. The, the Anarchy is like 2.5 div each now. So we will also take some of these blockers because we are trying to look for the good Divination cards, which is the rare Divination Scarabs. Now these will sell for 15 Divines each or more. Um, we will also spec out Alice this way to try to get Alva, because Alva is pretty good, but we can't guarantee it all the time. But by using these, we can block have a pretty high chance. On the map device itself, we will pick Ritual, because there's more rares. We just try to get as many rares as we can. And in the end, as you saw in the beginning, it is crazy. This is probably why why there are so many T1 and T0 uniques just crashing the price down to the floor by just spamming um, Shaper Touched with Glittering. That actually Abyss or Flames can add more rares and I was already running but I should also, I forgot to mention that Ziggurat has natural Abysses in it. So the Abyss Towers are already in it, in the map, so you get even more rares that way. Um, one more thing I should really emphasize is that the monsters that are Shaper Touched are very, 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 very dangerous. I would say each of these rares is literally a normal Shaper. So when they melee attack you, they are a Shaper monster. I'm oh, sorry, Shaper boss. So the melee is a melee slam, Shaper slam. They use shaper beams, they use shaper balls, they are literally shaping himself. So rare monsters are shaper. So keep that in mind, you need a very, very, very powerful build.